I'm Dr. Mahmood Bhatt and I'm a British trained and certified consultant interventional cardiologist and director of cardiac catheterization laboratory at King's College Hospital in Dubai. I have nearly 20 years of experience working in the UK in uh, different large tertiary and university hospitals. Coronary artery disease is getting increasingly common all over the world, in younger population even so. What is coronary artery disease? basically means a deposition of calcium and cholesterol in your blood vessels around the heart. We all have three blood vessels around the heart and if you have narrowing, which is increasingly worse, it would lead to angina and ultimately a heart attack. How do we treat it? Up until now we've been treating it with the medicines and if the, treat, if, if the narrowing is more than 60 or 70 percent or even worse, then we have to treat it with the balloons and the stents. We have faced a lot of difficulties in the last few decades as to how do we optimize this treatment because sometimes the amount of calcium is far too much to deliver a stent. Those patients have been referred for bypass and even if we end up putting a stent on those patients, the high risk that uh, the stent will re-narrow or there will be further complications. We have now a new invention in which we deliver sound waves. The basic principle is the same principle in which we use to break the stones in the kidneys and the word is lithotripsy. Here we are introducing intravascular lithotripsy or IVL and the device that we use is right in front of you. A very basic principle is that if we deliver the sound waves at a certain intensity to the narrowing in the blood vessel, it will disrupt your calcium and will be helpful in terms of stent deployment and may save you from the bypass or further complications after the procedure. This coronary artery in front of you, the black part is actually the space in which the blood is circulating. Around it, you will see the green and white part. This is the cholesterol and the calcium. The more the white part is, the harder it will be to deliver the stent or to have a better outcome in future. These are the very patients who have been referred for the bypass and they end up having the chest open and treated that way. The shockwave therapy really treats those patients who have had a stent in the past and it has re-narrowed, people who have a lot of calcium in their blood vessels or the people who have had bypass in the, in, in the past and their grafts have failed or re-narrowed. So basically it addresses a lot of complicated issues. So I'm going to introduce you to the device that we use in this. There's a lot of stuff in front of you. These are, this is the console for the shock wave therapy. And it's basically attached to this simple balloon. This balloon is advanced in the same simple angiographic procedures while the radial artery, which is near your wrist. So under the local anesthesia, in a normal angiographic procedure, we go through your arm near your heart. And then this balloon, which is a special balloon, is placed across your narrowing and then it is inflated <coughs> as you can see once we have inflated it at a certain level then we have to deliver the shock and you will see that now this is a day case procedure you come in the morning you have your procedure done and if needs be this device will be utilized will break down your calcium will open up your artery and if needs be you will need a stent which will be deployed at the same time this has revolutionized the treatment in the past few years completely and a lot of times it's being used in the western europe and america so this procedure is in addition to the angiogram so it takes another 10 to 15 minutes to deliver the shockwave therapy before the definitive treatment. If the patient needs a stent, it will be deployed in another five to 10 minutes. However, sometimes the, the treatment is so successful that it makes the plaque disappear significantly in such a way that you don't need a stent, maybe, and only medical treatment will suffice. So since this is in addition to the angiogram, this is a painless procedure. The angiogram in itself done in a local anesthesia from your wrist, and through that tube, this balloon is delivered. So on its own, the procedure is not painful and since in the form of sound waves, so you don't have any feeling during the procedure or after. It has no lasting effects either.